But by the way, have you met Jared Leto? Uh, I, uh, briefly, yeah. One of the most interesting yeah. guys I've ever talked Incredible. to. Incredible, and it makes total sense. Totally this... normal, like yeah. really fun to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. Not like what you would think of as a famous actor at all. Yeah. I had dinner with him and drinks. He's a fucking great guy. What about Jared Leto? Is he too weird to hang out with? He's too wild, I think. I guess. <laughs> he brought me to my first club when I was, I guess I was 14. I was, you know. Is that appropriate? No. I... How much older was he than you? Much. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. At the time, he seemed ancient. He like was you like, were 13, 14? I he's... was 14. He was 21 oh. or something. That is ancient That's, to a 14-year-old. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 And he was your first makeout, which is really kind of weird. Yeah. When you think... Girls from IMG Elite and Next, and women are staying there, and Jared has been hitting on all of them. He's a serial texter. He is constantly texting these 16 and 17-year-old girls. It's creepy. When I was 16, Jared Leto asked my friend, also 14, to come up to his hotel room. And then Dylan Sprouse actually really famously uh, publicly called him out. Yo, Jared, now that you've slid into the gyms of every female model aged 18 to 25, what would you say your success rate is? James Gunn called him out as well. Oh, what did James Gunn he say? Said, uh, he responded to Dylan Sprouse's tweet, and he said he starts at 18 on the internet. Oh, sh**. Yeah, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw oh, up wow. There. See, now this... Yeah, so, you know, and these are big-time people, so that's... Then that's not something Damn. you tweet out unless you know some shit. Yeah. James Gunn's a huge deal. That's crazy. I mean, we could really be dealing with a... What turns me on? I would like to answer that by asking a question. What doesn't turn me on? And way back in the Maybach, Jared Leto came to Eugene, Oregon to film a movie called Prefontaine about the Olympic runner that came from here. While he was here in town, he sexually assaulted one of my friends that was an underage girl in one of the Hiltons. So I've been on to this dude for a really long time, but I didn't realize that he had a long history of this stuff that was actually documented. We're talking about multiple allegations from multiple girls that were underage at the time. I mean, when I googled his name and sexual assault allegations, the words, a long history History were right there in front of my face first thing. This girl alleges that when she was 17, Jared Leto started coercing her into doing things with him sexually and asking her to verbally say that she was 14 or 15 while they were doing these acts. She said that he was quite rough and forceful and did things to her that were non-consensual. I also found underage sexual assault and rape testimonies against Jared Leto. And not just a few, a lot. There are more allegations about Jared Leto being a sexual predator than anyone else I've ever heard of, including Harvey Weinstein. There are allegations against him from all over the world where Jared Leto has traveled for his acting and music career. There are many allegations against Jared Leto claiming that he uses his music career and uses concerts to lure young girls towards him so he can have sex with them. People are just dumbasses, aren't they? You know what I'm talking about. That's a message to the fucking haters. Fuck you. Blow me. Fuck you. Blow me. Blow me, motherfucker. Uh, everybody check out their rooms or their tents. Or okay, make sure you leave your door unlocked. <laughs> you never know who's gonna pay you a visit. <laughs> Also, in Jared Leto's pornographic music video called Hurricane, there are moments in the video where he's staring at children while there's scenes of him having sex with people, as if to encourage people to feel aroused while children are present, while staring at children, as if he is trying to promote pedophilia. This music video appears to be a pornographic music video to subliminally encourage people to become pedophiles, like himself. And Jared Leto directed this music video himself. These were all his ideas. Then the children get scared and run away from Jared Leto. As if Jared Leto is telling the story of what it's like to hunt down children and prey on them. There's also a scene where Jared Leto directed two twins, two sisters, who look very young, as if they could be underage. And he directed these two sisters to be naked next to each other. There's also a scene in Jared Leto's film where he has a Christian priest, a rabbi, and a Muslim priest throwing their holy scriptures into a fire, as if Jared Leto is trying to encourage people to throw away morality and to throw away God. I would like to answer that by asking a question. What doesn't turn me on? I would like to answer that by asking a question. What doesn't turn me on?
what doesn't turn me on. Has Jared Leto's band 30 Seconds to Mars created an actual cult? 30 Seconds to Mars is the pop rock band fronted by Jared Leto since 1998. What you may not know about the band, however, is that their artist and fan based relationship has slowly morphed into more of a messiah and follower relationship. The band's tagline, Yes, This is a Cult, is seen on the band's social media, but it also appears in their music videos and merchandise. Leto explained, If people like 30 Seconds to Mars, they really, really, really like it. We have this cult, this family, these believers. While it may have started as a joke, it seems the band has gotten a little too comfortable in this dynamic with their audience. And the double laughs. The fans have been dubbed the Echelon. The strangeness of their affinity for the band is the force behind their motto, hashtag you wouldn't understand. The hashtag you wouldn't understand causes fans to separate themselves and create this us versus them mentality. So anytime their actions or what they're doing is questioned, they can just say, well, you don't understand and go further and further down the hole of devotion. The band once even held a competition where the prize was sleeping at night in Jared Leto's bed with him. Like that's so creepy. Showing these video clips of their fans just looking so over the top excited for like a cult recruitment video, it makes them look like these blind followers instead of just people going to a concert and having a good time. So by making your fans look like cult followers, you're kind of making them look ridiculous and you're charging them an over the top amount. It feels like you're kind of treating your fans poorly and massively, massively pro profiting from them while trying to tell them that it's this connecting experience where we're all families. It just feels manipulative to me and also like they just genuinely don't care about their fan base and how they make their fan base look. jumping up and down with their hand up in the air. That's what people do at a concert. But then when you twist the narrative into all of a sudden like this is a cult, it makes it look so creepy. He tries to create a worship environment for himself. Notice the hand sign that Jared Leto and his audience are putting up. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Hey, yo, you, with your fingers in your chin beard, what are you sitting on your fucking ass for? Huh? This is the 30 Seconds to Mars show, okay? If you can stand up, you better be up off your fucking ass right now, you hear me? Really fun to talk to. <laughs> totally Does... normal. Does he understand what I'm saying to him right now? He's a fucking great guy. No, don't look behind you, I'm looking at you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Not like what you would think of as a famous actor at all. Yeah. There was also a time when the actor Elijah Wood mentioned in an interview that Jared Leto's band 30 Seconds to Mars made terrible music. And Jared Leto went up to Elijah Wood and started verbally harassing him. And Jared Leto got physical and aggressively grabbed Elijah Wood. I like this at all. Next. Pretty bad. When you hear the Taylor Swift song, you don't hear that, right? No. So maybe there's... I mean, f her. I don't give a f about her. It's whatever works best for us. The problem is people. There are too many human beings on the planet, and we've got to do something about that. I'm not <laughs> joking. In 2018, the guitarist for 30 Seconds to Mars, Jared Leto's guitarist, Tomo, left the band during a tour, which is very unusual for a musician. This was a very big tour because they just released an album. So this was a world tour, and then their guitarist suddenly just left. And there was no in-depth explanation as to why this happened. I met a person in Jared Leto's social network, and from what I've been told by this person, Tomo left the band because he was being abused by Jared Leto. According to this person, 
Jared Leto allegedly assaulted Tomo multiple times and pushed Tomo to suicidal depression. According to this person, Tomo has allegedly said that all the negative rumors surrounding Jared Leto are true, including the sexual assault and child molestation allegations against Jared Leto. And according to this person, Jared Leto is allegedly a pedophile. Really bad situation where people are just letting him slide. He'll be like, we never saw it coming. <laughs> we never suspected that Jared Leto was a creep. You guys, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> we had no idea he was texting young girls. Jared Leto's a creep? How old is this girl here? Like, genuinely. That girl is 18 at most. Look how young these girls are. Do you see a single man in the audience here? And I think he gets a pass because, uh, or not a pass, but like a, he gets more leeway because he's, well, really handsome and he looks relatively young. Do you know how old Jared Leto is? But I didn't realize that he had a long history of this stuff that was actually documented. We are talking about multiple allegations from multiple girls that were underage at the time. But by the way, have you met Jared Leto? That's totally this... normal, like really fun to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. Not like what you would think of as a famous actor at all. Yeah. I had dinner with him and drinks. He's a fucking great guy. While he was here in town, he sexually assaulted one of my friends that was an underage girl in one of the Hilton. He brought me to my first club when I was, I guess I was 14. I was, a, you know. Is that appropriate? No. I, How much older was he than you? Much. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. At the time, he seemed ancient. He like was you like, were 13, 14. What turns me on? I would like to answer that by asking a question. What doesn't turn me on? Fuck you. But by the way, have you met Jared Leto? One of the most interesting yeah. guys I've ever talked Incredible. to. Incredible, and it makes total sense. Totally this. normal, like <laughs> really fun to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. Not like what you would think of as a famous actor at all. Yeah. I had dinner with him and drinks. He's a fucking great guy. One of the reasons why Jared Leto and Predators get away with doing what they do is because people like you, Joe Rogan, who endorse him, who say good things about him, and try to make everyone believe that he's a great guy. You're just like all the other people and all the other celebrities who know about Jared Leto and turned a blind eye to him, even though you know better. Have some integrity and do the right thing and correct the damage you have done. Stop helping predators. We have to stop celebrities like you who change public opinion to hide predators. You're part of the problem. I mean, we could really be dealing with a really bad situation where people are just letting him slide. So Joseph Rogan, it's time for you to take accountability for what you just did. Before you publicly said that Jared Leto was a great guy, you have been informed about how he is taking advantage of people and you decided to neglect that information and toss it aside and you chose to befriend Jared Leto anyway and announce that he's a great guy, convincing many people that he's good by your endorsement. It's time for you to own up for what you've done and publicly announce who Jared Leto actually is. And for you to publicly apologize and retract the statement you made about Jared Leto. Or else you are complicit in helping an alleged predator continue to prey on people. Joe Rogan, you're part of the problem. And you can either correct what you've done or continue helping an alleged predator. You have already been warned multiple times that Jared Leto is a predator. And you turned a blind eye to that. And you decided to go ahead and tell people that he's a great guy anyway.